Now, I saw a video earlier today when somebody was reading Luke chapter 13. We're talking about the unfortunate Galileans whose blood that Pilate mingled with their sacrifices and also the Tower of Shalom that fell upon people and killed them. They asked Jesus about this and Jesus had something to say. So let's read this. This is Luke chapter 13. Now there were some present at that time who told him, that's Jesus, about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mixed with their sacrifices. Jesus answered them, Do you think that these Galileans were worse sinners than all the other Galileans because they suffered such things? I tell you, no. But unless you repent, you will all perish in the same way. Or... Those 18 on whom the tower of Shalom fell and killed them. Do you think that they were worse offenders than all the men who dwell in Jerusalem? I tell you no. But unless you repent, you will all perish in the same way. Now this portion of scripture is very confusing to say the least because it sounds like Jesus is saying that no, their sin didn't really have anything to do with the accident that happened or, you know, the uh, unfortunate circumstance that Pilate did. Uh, I mean, the, the injustices that Pilate did to the Galileans. But then he kind of threw a curveball by saying, unless you repent, you will all perish in the same way. Now, it sounds on the surface like Jesus is saying, well, the, the sins of these people really didn't have anything to do with the unfortunate circumstances that befell them. But that's really not what Jesus is saying here. Now, in order to really understand what Jesus is talking about here, we need to understand what he did not say. We need to know and take into consideration what Jesus did not say here. Jesus did not say that these things were not the judgment of God. He only said that these things happened to these people and that these people were no worse sinners than the rest of them. And then he capped it off by saying, unless you repent, you will likewise perish. You will have horrible things happen to you too, is basically what he was saying. So Jesus did not deny that these two circumstances were God's judgment. He merely said that those people were not worse than the other people, and he warned his audience to repent, or else horrible things will happen to them too. And this is where a lot of street preachers get this whole idea of repent or perish, you know? It comes from the words of Jesus. It comes from the words in red. But in context, Jesus is saying that these horrible things befell these people. And he didn't deny it was because of their sin. He just warned the other people, unless you repent, horrible things could happen to you as well. And just perhaps, Jesus was talking about the invasion of the Romans in 70 AD when lots of people did perish.